I'll see you then. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Don't say you're not coming. Excuse me? Who's this? Is this Pat Blake's residence? Yes, it is. Who's calling? It's Stephen Reynolds. Hey, Stephen. Listen, my wife and I discussed it, and she convinced me I should meet up with you. Oh, great. Hell, yes. When? Where? Well, I can fly to Houston one of these days, or you can fly out here to Marshall. Uh, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock. Uh, what are you doing right now? I'm watching some football. Why? I'm on my way. You catching a flight today? Bitch, you sweet ass. Change, huh? What happened to you? It's Steven. I can see your butter in your eyes. Let me take that back for you. So, uh, how long you been in Houston? Oh, going on 16 years now. I figured you'd be in Nashville. Oh, I got some uh, friends I play with in Houston. You know, got a club there. Yeah. Nashville's over. Mm -hmm. Well, how about it? So, uh, is it hard for you now? I mean, not being in the, uh, the big time anymore? Oh, I miss the money, but... There's a world of people out there who don't appreciate what I do for a living. Yeah. I always did. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I don't know, I'd like another go around with the money, but. So, uh, what made you change your mind and call me? Well, my wife talked me into it. Wife? Yeah. Jesus. I mean, good. Watch your step when you're getting up there. There you go. Oh. Nice. Real nice. Well, you know, it's a roof over our head. This place was mom's. Here, have a seat, have a seat. Oh, Mr. Blake. Oh. Don't get up. I'm Marissa. Oh, I'm standing in my mind, Marissa. It's called my bed, please. Uh, can I get you some water, Coke, beer? Uh, I got nothing stronger. Sorry. Oh, beer's just right. Okay, excuse me, I'm just finishing dinner. Mm. All right, you can go give her a hand, all right? Relax. God, I haven't seen these in years. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, look at that. Mm. She was pretty, wasn't she? I'll say. In case you're wondering, she died of lymphoma. It took six months. You don't mind me asking, what did she tell you about me? Oh, uh, well, she never said a bad word about you. <clears throat> you know, when I was a kid, I used to brag to my friends that you were my daddy. Did you? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> then you started showing up on the news for things. I don't remember much of those times. You know, the road kills a lot of people, makes it a lot more crazy. Oh, so it was the road that did all those things, huh? You don't know what it's like. You know, year after year, where's you down? Gosh, I don't, I don't have a clue, man. Same as you don't know what it was like back here. Yeah, I know. I know we missed a lot of things, Steven. You mean like my life? No, I know. You know, I'm gonna get you another beer. Yeah. Thank you.
other. What would you do if you could? Probably tell her that I always loved her in my way. Oh. Well, just out of curiosity, what way is that? Hey, I got you this, this money clip for you on your 18th birthday. I wanted to send it to you, but I didn't know where y'all were exactly. I've been carrying it ever since. Liberty, yeah. It's perfect. Keep it around your money. Bought it for you. Well. I thank you, Mr. Blake, I really do, but I gave up wanting anything from you a long time ago. Well, why'd you call me back then? I told you, my wife talked me into it. Hmm. Yeah, you must have wanted to be talked into it. You and Nicole. Mark. Yeah, you know, maybe I was just curious. Huh? I'm curious, too. <laughs> Come on, man. You realize you haven't asked a goddamn thing about me or us since you got here? Appreciate you calling me a cab. You got it. You got it. I'm on the way outside. I think this is easy. Mm. You gotta be the most self-involved some bitch on earth. You never even called me, man. You never even called me, not once, ever. How the hell is that even possible? Everything was all about you then. It's all about you now. Let me tell you something. There may be a day or two in them 20 years where I didn't think about you, but by God, I don't remember one. Listen, I can't care. I can't care what you thought, Mr. Blake. I care what you did. You think you can sit here and you can explain away 24 years of doing nothing? I'm, I'm not making excuses. I'm saying... What are you saying to me? That I'm here. I'm trying to fix it. Now you look here. I had a good mother who loved me and she took care of me. I ain't broken. I guess this was a mistake. Yeah. Well, you know, blame it on the road, right?